Thank God it's Friday. Thank you for joining us today on Morning Spring on Western Spring Television. This is where we say it as it is, as a program, and of course as a station. Femi Ojo is my name. Thank you for staying with us all week, and this is the week-ending edition of this program. It's been a you know, swell time, happy conversations about the betterment of this great nation, Core Nigeria. You know, we look at the headlines and then we get talking with various issues, social political issues, speaking to it as they come, you know, and it's aimed at enhancing our decision making process, you know, so that we can make very good decisions that will impact our lives and of course impact our society, society in part of state and of course our nation at large, holding public officers accountable, anybody, everybody that is, you know, holding in trust what has to do with the people, you, we must be accountable and so that we have this kind of nation that we are all proud of. Good people, great nation for Nigeria. Once again, I'm Femi Oja and I welcome you to Morning Spring for today. I know you are ready. I am. We are as well. We take this quick break. When we return, we do what we do at this time. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. <music> In our lifetime, Nigeria has become a center for smuggling ivory and pangolin scales. This is one of two Nesria holding facilities for seized wildlife stockpiles. I come from Nigeria. As Africa's key transit hub. The illegal for the trade in wildlife has caused the decline of many species. But together, we can change this story. No longer will we tolerate wildlife trafficking. We are updating our laws, increase the penalties, and prosecuted more offenders. Nigeria remains fully committed in the fight against wildlife crime and we will continue to honor all international obligations to protect our biodiversity. Together, we will protect our wildlife for future generations. Please report wildlife crime and say no to illegal bush trees. Because protecting nature protects all of us. Kirij War, also known as Ekite Parapo War, was waged among Yoruba main ethnic groups which emerged from the ruins of the falling Oyo Empire that were desperate to replace the awesome powers hitherto wielded by the Alafi of Oyo. The Kirij War is defined as a conflict of confederacy and unitary political system championed by Yorubas of different socio-economic and political interests. The Ibado military aristocrats felt they deserved a dominant position for saving Yoruba land from being totally submerged by the Fulanese by their victory in Oshobo War of 1840 and Ijaya War of 1862. Kirij War that took its name from the booming motor sounds of European arms festered for so long because the Industrial Revolution in Europe provoked high standards of slaves. The 16-year civil war also caused the emergence of new powerful kingdoms like Ibadan and the rise of powerful personalities like Oluyole, Ogumola, Kurumi, Latosha, Shodeke, Fabumi and Ogedengbe. One of the fallouts of Kirij War was the birth of creative political and leadership structure in Yoruba land that was a blend of federalism and the autocratic monarchical system. Western Spring Television identifies Kirij War as a watershed event. Nigeria still has some breathtaking natural areas and national parks. These forests and wild places help maintain healthy ecosystems. Clean rivers, rainfall, and even the oxygen we breathe. But if we allow our wildlife to be poached and our forests to be cut illegally, we may lose this forever. So let's do the right thing. Tell your families and friends not to buy illegal bushmeat or illegal timber from our protected forests. It's time to save our wildlife and forests in order to protect our natural heritage. Keep them wild, keep us safe.
All right, thank you for staying right with us. You are the right place at the right time. And of course, I'm not alone. I will never be alone. YNBL. I hope I didn't get that right. For Liverpool fans. Good morning. No, you didn't. You never walk alone. YNWA. YNWL. Although they are walking alone, but you know. But it's good. Good morning, Ethan. We we're walking alone. You yeah, think I've been so? been walking alone. Well, welcome on board, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. It's right. a beautiful Friday. Mm. TGIF, thank God it's Friday. My name is Evelyn Ohiola, welcoming you especially to this edition of Morning Spring. All right. And, um, you know, um, talking about working alone or not working alone for sport lovers, especially EPL, you know, there is a club that pride themselves as being the Reds, whatever Red they are, you know. But it's okay. Let's move on. You know, in a manner of speaking, this is that morning, not your club? What is that not the club you're supporting? Liverpool. No. No, I, I go with the winners. Red Devils. Eventual, perpetual What's winners. Your club? Classic. You what? Know. What club are you supporting? We have a job to do here, so <laughs> let's stay focused to that. So you know, um, trust in that. I'm sure many enemies are <laughs> in the enemies within and enemy in my talk back. They are just everywhere. But then we are victorious. You know, from the glory, back. glory. So 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 so. All right. Daily trust is my first point of call this morning on the airline segment. IPOB, IPOB, military six extradition has Finland jails a bar member in Simon a bar. IPOB, military six extradition has Finland jails a bar. That is, you know, one developing story there. Um, you know, be to one thing and another, uh, George in Finland has jailed him, sentenced him, by the way. And so the military are looking for him. Possibly, as a nation rather, the military of Nigeria. So to come and answer some questions. All right. And, you know, the, the manner of speech, the manner of talking, the incitement mm. that this man is known for is one thing that, you know, has not been helping, mm. especially in the southeastern region. Because as a person of influence, one way or the other, there are persons who listen to him, mm. uh, you know, bluntly naively and um, most of what he has been saying has not been towards development even of that region mm. uh, you know the military have said give him to us let him come and answer some questions there yeah. all right palestinians welcome icc's arrest warrant for netanyahu you know <laughs> south your global over mm -hmm. yesterday when um, the hague the court in hague the ICC, are, you know, issued a warrant arrest for Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israeli Prime Minister, and his defense minister as well, Joab Gallant, to say, these two men, they're do alive. We must have them, you know, okay, alive now, because uh, they must answer for war crimes. Okay, and uh, it is, um, this <coughs> kind of story depends on who you are asking and who is talking about. Many persons have said as well, there is a warrant arrest on Vladimir Putin as well, and some of his associates, and then he hasn't been arrested. Nobody has taken him, although he as well, if we check, check his uh, schedule, there are places he goes to, there are places he doesn't go to. So now, it's like he's even, the ICC has said, Benjamin Netanyahu, you have gallant, you are men of interest, and so we want you. Evelyn. Um, well, you know, um, I would say that... You know, due uh, to the war in Gaza, actually. Yes, um, we definitely will, will definitely be hearing more and more of this uh, mm. because of um, the um, horrendous actions happening there. Mm. And that's, in the you know, issues of people dying because yeah. of those wars. Collateral damage. Exactly. So I know definitely, like you said, there have also been... Um, you know, judgment uh, or against uh, Vladimir Putin yeah. of Russia. So um, some people would say it's just part of the war. It's just part of the things you hear. That comes with the war. Exactly. Yeah, sadly. Um, people have been dying, actually, women, children. You know, when places, hospitals, schools mm. are shelled mm. uh, because of the information that, you know, terrorists or militants are using the place as a shield, 
uh, the military will go after it and whatever comes with it, these are the issues as well. Now, Palestinians welcome ISIS's arrest warrant for Netanyahu. Below that girl, 13, a beat classmate to death in Kogi. That's, that's horrific, bizarre to hear a 13-year-old beating an other classmate to death. How? A case of um, anger taken too far or just coincidence or just accident, you know. You know, I used to say uh, sometimes um, anger is bad, actually, but then it's part of emotion. But when it's uncontrolled, then it's very bad. Exactly. You know, but, you know, some person, I'm not making a case, I don't even know um, uh, the detail of this, but I'm just saying generally, that sometimes when death happens between two people, sometimes the killer, quote unquote, sometimes doesn't set out to kill that person, mm -hmm. you know, but, but because of rage, anger, and then you excessive push, mm. the person hits the head or falls or trickle, I mean, I mean you know, trips down and falls, or the person with underlining, uh, you know, um, health um, issues. And these are some of the things. So, you know, it is what it is. A sad one. A 13-year-old, you know, has killed another one in Kogi. Sad. Now, can a governor, or government rather, reunite 76 freed teenagers with families? Remember the story. And away from that, ACF suspends chairman Usman over unauthorized statement. ACF does the Ariwa Consultative Forum. Will then the big steal? against their chairman for unauthorized statement. Um, here, a rep, so reject six years single term for president and government, okay? And grid arms, NEC, a racist committee on national electrification, NEC, okay? And lastly, ex federal scribe, Amadou Kurufi, buried in Casina. You could call him the last of the Mohicans, you know, proverbially speaking. Uh, because you talk about Fedeco, you know, uh, the Fedeco used to be the electoral election organizing body before it was changed to INEC, you know, and the scribe has died and he has been buried. You know, there is the popular hymn that says, only remembered by what you have done. That will be all from the front page of the Daily Trust. Keep it. And from the Daily Trust newspaper, we head on to Vanguard, Vanguard newspaper this morning. Terrorism, presidency mom, DHQ thrilled over arrest of Simon Epper hmm. for others with uh, some riders here. Government of Finland arrests Simon Epper for crimes related to terrorism. We have nothing to say yet, says IPOB, why we cannot... Um, all right, I'm trying to see this. Why we can't comment now, says Presidency. And DHQ excited, hopes Epa will be extradi extradited to Nigeria to face justice. Mm -hmm. You know, the commander always giving out directives and orders from all the way from Finland to the southeast. Uh, you know, we've heard uh, that he has been arrested in Finland. Away from that, two thirds of households lack money for healthy food. This is coming from uh, the NBS survey. Reps reject bill on six year single tenure for president governors. Uh, that uh, particular bill has been, you know, a bone of contention for mm. months now. Uh, but we hear that the House of Representatives has Going rejected the, the bill mm. of a single six-year tenor for presidents and governors. So is it that we are doing better with the two, te uh, two tenors, uh, 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 an elected official having uh, the right to a two, four-year tenor? Mm. Uh, that's eight year in total. Although some people have said that it's supposed to be four year, then the people will give you the benefit of another four year. But when politicians come in, they're already talking about eight years. They, they no, I, I've not really seen someone that comes in and says, oh, I'm just here for four years. After my four years, I'm done. A whole lot of them, you know, they just calculate the eight years. They say, oh, I'm going to do eight years. But even their handlers and the supporters, they tell you, Oh, after the eight-year tenure of so-so-and-so person. I am wondering, when did we have eight-year tenure 
for governors or presidents in Nigeria. But it's two year four te four year tenure rather for two times. NASA case to Nabu's fresh request for two point two billion dollars external loan and in the world of sports, twenty twenty four CAV awards Nigeria women dominate with fifteen nominations. That's a good one. Top strip we strongly supports Nubu's reform, says IMF MD in twenty twenty five. Why we are proposing three trillion naira budget, Governor Sanwolu speaking there. Tax reform will be on the side of Nigerians, says Nas. Ogoni four versus Ogoni nine. The blame game continues mm. thirty years after of course you know what happened in ogonia land the spill and all of that it's sad that after three decades we still have this conversation in our mouth especially as to the cleanup that'll be all for, that'll be all rather from the vanguard newspaper this morning all right, straight to the nation the nation newspaper here to no bull relief measures for the poor small businesses to go on Again, Tinubu, relief measures for the poor, small businesses to go on. With a rider, tax reforms designed to further stimulate the economy. And three states get ultimatum to decide on state police. Kwara, Kebi, and Adamawa listed. Right, and um, we have this picture just beside that which has to do with the governor of Lagos State's J.D. Sonwolu uh, laying the 2025 appropriation bill before the House of Assembly in Ikeja, that's in Lagos capital, yesterday. All right, and here Sonwolu proposes 3.05 trillion 2025 estimate. <laughs> Work to start on green rail line, okay? The blue the rail line, uh, the red rail line, and then uh, now the green rail line. Um, okay, 3.05 trillion now. 2025 estimate world to start a green rail line. No wonder Lagos is touted to be the fifth, you know, virtually the fifth uh, largest economy in Africa for a state subnational to have a budget of, you know, in excess rather of 3 trillion now. That's a lot of money. And by the way, what Lagos generates, you know, in a day, sometimes, you know, eclipses what many of the states generate in a month, mm -hmm. you know, and sure. it's okay. And um, here, um, moving on, some of the highlights of that particular document. Uh, capital expenditure, 1.766 trillion naira, that's 59%, and then recurrent, 1.239 trillion naira. That's 41 percent. 59 percent of that proposal um, is meant for capital uh, expenditure. Why 41 percent is meant for recurrent expenditure? And bottom strip in red, ACF suspends Usuman for 2027 comment. And page four of this paper has live jail for drug offenders, live jail for drug offenders. And um, top strip, defense headquarters, a pass arrest in Finland, victory for anti-terror battle. A pass arrest in Finland, victory for anti-terror battle. You know, many persons will say, why are you guys rejoicing that possibly what you might not be able to do if actually the guy is there, that's the opinion of some persons, you are happy that a foreign nation is doing that, but then others will flip the coin and say the world is a global village, it's mm. a global community, and so whatever it's posing terrorist, uh, you know, uh, tendency, not just tendency, act in a country, then definitely other countries should be aware as well. And House of Rams throws out six years in good time deal for president. Again, House of Rams throws out six years a good time bill for president. Even let me ask you, where do you stand in all of these um, six years single term? Uh, you know, the, the proponents of that particular bill has talked about inclusion, you know, so that the president, you should, it's not just about the six year, 
is about rotation as well. So this region has it. Use your own one year. The next region has it. Use your own one year. I mean, six year, single time as well. But the reps are not having it. Well, there have been arguments for and, and against yeah. uh, this mm. uh, particular bill. Some people believe six year is six year tenure is better because uh, the person who has been elected has time to work. He's not thinking about a second term mm. because he knows he doesn't have a second term. Mm. So you know the old calculation of when they come in, they use the first year or first one and a half years for litigations Special. and all of that. Then they use one year for governance and the last year for politicking for the next mm. um, election. The, uh, some people believe with a six-year tenure, the person will be able to sit in well and work. Mm. Uh, but personally, I, I believe that it doesn't have to do with whether it's a six-year tenure or a four-year tenure. Let us work on our structure and our systems. Right. Because you get a six-year tenure and you still have the same old stories mm. of using probably one and a half years for, li uh, for litigation. They even only have six months now. You, you you understand then uh, the old blame game and all of that will come in then the person is already looking at okay appointments of commissioners the old politicking around that mm. uh, or ministers mm. uh, in whatever case it is then the last three years politicking mm. so i believe the four-year tenure that we have with mm. the, the benefit of the person coming for a second term is good mm. because if the person is not good in the first term the electorates, the people have a choice to put the person out of but the office. But if it's a single term of six years, that means the people are stuck. Are stuck with the person. So that, it, in it, a, in it a has to functional system, yes. then that's where the National Assembly should come in, isn't to, it? In to, a functional system. In a functional system, whether yeah. it's a four-year tenure or a six-year tenure. And if the person is not performing or doing something atrocious, it could be impeached. In a four-year tenure, the person also can be impeached. But how many any? governors have you seen being impeached? So mm. I do not think it will also work when we have a six-year tenure. It's, so not, it's, neither here it's not in the elongation of the tenures. Mm. It's how about the rotation apart? Working as a system. Mm. Um, yes, um, because of federal character. Mm. I believe in rotation. For every part having yes. a show. Uh, yes, I, I, I think Southwest. we should work with that. Rotation okay. is, is good. All right. Okay. That, that, that's it. But the reps are, you know, thrown it away. Now, here, uh, Senate approves 1.77 trillion Naira external loan requires, you know, these are part where you say again, $2.2 .2 billion or so. Um, these matter. And lastly, BOI support for MSMEs, others cross $5 billion. Support for medium and small, you know, scale businesses. That, that's it. And that will be all from the nation. From the nation newspaper, let's head on to the punch, the punch newspaper this morning. Anti Tinubu comments ACF suspends chairman as mm. Afeniferi others back president with rider Tinubu inherited Buhari's economic policies or Hanese middle belt. Others reply ACF. Now we have that same situation of blame games and you know putting the blames on the past administration mm. irrespective of the fact that this present administration and uh, the immediate past administration are from the same party mm. you know we still have that old blame game Buhari came in for eight years it was blame game of uh, the 16 years of administration yeah. of the people's democratic <laughs> party and now we have an apc administration continuing from where an APC stopped and APC still blaming another APC. I mean, yeah. it of just tells you... Of which the current president was the national leader mm -hmm. of that same party. Many of the guys, or let me say some of the guys in this administration were in the former administration in different capacity. The same party blaming whatever is happening on, uh, you know, the, uh, the candidate of the same... A, pres a president I, that emanated from their same party mm. who spent 80 years. And people are complaining now. The current administration is saying whatever is happening, it was given to us by our predecessor you know, in the same party. Exactly. You know, Femi, if you sit down well mm. and study yeah. um, administrations or yeah. the, you know, Nigeria's uh, governance and democracy from yeah. 1999, you will have an inclination as to what uh, a particular administration would say yeah. in fact you you can predict what will happen mm. what they would say their response to 
you know, different accusations and allegations when they come out. Mm. It's it's so predictable. It's all about blame game. It's so predictable. How, how are we not talking about leadership, capacity, and possibly ineptitude? Just say it as it is and stop throwing whatever. I'm not sure Aradua, you know, God rest his soul, blamed Obasanjo for anything. Mm. And good Lord Jonathan didn't blame Yaradua for anything. The blame game started in 2015, mm -hmm. you know, when there was a switch from the PDP to the APC. And the APC is even still blaming itself. The same party, the same people, almost the same people rather, are still saying, whatever you are saying with us now, you know, it was done by the other party. I mean, the other, you know, one, do you know, some person will have been saying, oh, maybe it's the same if actually um, it's another party that is in power right now who say, oh, it's that party that didn't know how yeah, to do it. Yeah. You guys were there. Mm. And in fact, the president told the, his predecessor that he was going to continue. From well, very yeah. Recently, a few months ago, there was an occasion that had two of them and President Nobu praised President Buhari to the high heavens again. Mm. Two Democrats, these and that. And it is what it is right It's now. politics. It's it's Nigeria's politics. It is what it Sad. is. But this is about governance, actually. Yeah, it is. Uh, let's move on. Serial grid collapse. Neck panel to boost power generation in states. Lagos 3 trillion Naira 2025 budget prioritizes infrastructure. Mm. Ter tourism. Tourism. Visiting U.S.-based Nigerian bought nine drugs before death. Visiting U.S.-based Nigerian bought nine drugs before death. Uh, this is according to police. And winners get 77 million Naira. Okay, in Zenith Bank Tech Fair. Top corner, Equas terror charges. FG presses for extradition as IPOB disowns Biafra agitator. Mm. When your own disowns you. Uh, PDP postpones neck meeting as North Central insists on cheer. The whole, or, um, no, whole rancor in the People's Democratic Party is not ending anytime soon. And people are telling uh, mm. the opposition, especially the PDP, can you get your house in order and really be an opposition to this particular administration? Mm. But, it seems but they are not the only political party. They are the major NMPP, opposition. NMPP should do that. Labour should do that. In fact, Labour said they are ready to do they, that. They are the major but opposition. So what people, made them major? Because they have been government before, right? No, not that because because they own the next highest uh, number of seats in parliament in uh, the national assembly. So Even that at makes the them state the, levels, right? yes. So that makes them the major opposition, and they also have more states mm. um, that yeah. are governors. So, um, but then uh, other oppositions can do the work, but people really think the PDP, the People's Democratic Party should put their house in order mm. and uh, 21 states enroll for afdb 850 billion naira agri scheme fg governors decided state police next next week mm. what will the verdict be let's wait and see that will be all from the punch newspaper this morning and of course from the newspaper review segment right. we go for this breather when we return it will be us speaking to critical a very critical issue mm. uh, you know that affects us as a country uh, talking about the appropriation bill the 2025 appropriation bill is out and you know it is in the sum of um, 49 over 49 trillion naira we mm. have um, an analyst that will help us dissect and make us understand what this particular appropriation bill is all about and what Nigerians should be looking towards, what questions they should be asking uh, the government. Do not go anywhere. It's going to be an insightful discussion right here on Morning Spring. <laughs> 